made garment and you're just remaking it. And these are actually examples of my work with playing like this. Uh, sometimes I achieve the, um, the work by cutting. Sometimes I'm taking this like, this is the example of the work that it has been a curtain. You can see that motifs are like from the, and, and I just took the, I cut out the uh, shapes of the dolls and just put a little bit of padding and some fun stuff I find around and I even left the thing from the curtain so it's about finding what is it that inspires you about the product itself and then playing with it depends it's it's I think it's about style and the sort of rough edge that people like or not because I respect and understand that some people want to have a clean classy finish and that's fine that's great <laughs> but my staff are not like that my first source was my grandma <laughs> it's interesting because now when I go to her closet like she doesn't have anything because when I was a teenager I went over there and um, everything from 60s and 70s. I just, I just fell in love with the fabrics, with the patterns, with the colors. Um, well, I'm an art teacher, so I come from quite a creative background, um, and I've recently just made friends with my sewing machine. I've been to a sewing machine workshop, um, but I suppose I'm just looking for different ideas and looking to see how I can make things cheaply because it's quite expensive making your own clothes. Cut it apart. Yeah, it was, this was the back of the dress and uh, it was kind of ruched at the front so it came down here and it had these panels which I didn't like so I switched it around, cut out the panels of the back. Um, these were long arms as well so chopped off some of the arms. I'm going to crop this arm as well um, and clean up and sew up the panels here as well. Yeah, so just make it more, more wearable. It was kind of like an 80s looking dress before and I just want to kind of modern it up a little bit. So yeah.